welcome back to the channel guys today i'm showing you guys some of the first games in ranked that i'm playing with japan this is kind of just me in my learning experience learning new civs i'd like to make this into a series it is inspired by widgie he's done a few of these types of videos in the past so i have him linked down below huge inspiration from him I have my first, second, and third game with Japan here today, and guys, please make sure to leave any advice for Japan and any other civs that you'd like me to do this series on, because I really do appreciate all the advice, tips, and tricks I get from you guys. Leave a comment down below of all your thoughts and opinions on the games today, and enjoy the first game. Playing some ranked 1v1. With Japan here. Playing on Mongolia, which is a really good map, especially for Japan, I think, because we are going to be able to collect lots of these uh, water buffalo that spawn on the north side of the map. I haven't really played Japan ranked at all. I mean, I'm still newer to rank. I think I got like about a thousand ish, um, bit over a thousand elo at the moment. So we'll see how we go with Japan. It's a little bit stressful at the start, I'm not going to lie with Japan. Got a lot to do. Reversing US, so be interesting, that's for sure. Probably gonna go for just a solid age 2 build, like nothing too special. Just because I'm not as confident with Japan as I am with some other civs, so. I'd like to build up that confidence a bit then. Maybe in the second game we could go for like a fast forward or a rush or something. We'll have to see where Wow, we'll have to see how things go. See what happens here. Cavalry speed by five percent. Or oh if anyone knows me, you know I love a good XP treasure. This guy's getting assaulted. Very nice. Okay, 14 bill age up. Standard stuff here. Grabbing all of these yaks. Yeah, the yaks. Oh, there's an explorer there. He just stole my, my yik. Not to see it. Man, he's been yanking a lot of our yaks on the way over. I think we've taken a few of his, but he's taken some back. A little bit of competition early on here. We will just get that upgrade now, may as well. Not saving it for the age up here. We'll go with the large shrine. Pop it up here. Hopefully these guys kind of get attracted into it. The yeah, man, this guy's stealing all my freaking. Oh, stealing all my my dudes. My ex. Okay, make sure we switch over. We want to start getting some shrines out as well. Probably lots of Yumi's, Yumi's, Yummies <laughs> early on here. Lots of archers. How's this guy blind and using a 
a bow? That's the real question. Try to get a bit of a shrine boom up here as well. To just literally, we're gonna put shrines everywhere on the map. Beautiful yak here. Gonna try to extract it. No! Oh, <laughs> alright. Oh well. <laughs> Stole my yak. Oh my goodness. What? Oh, dude. I almost deleted it. Dude, this guy is mental. <laughs> How has he got that many yaks? Oh, there's a herd back here. That's annoying. Wish I spotted that earlier. Oh, we're not gonna get the market up yet. We really just need a uh, barracks here. Get some Yumi out here. He's gonna try to take out all of our things, but gonna retaliate. A little bit of an idea of what he's doing. Okay, yeah, I got some shipments for cherry orchards that I can send in. How far along are we on this? About halfway. Okay, he's getting his bank up, so some standard stuff. Oh, he's going for a boom here, looks like. Oh, that's painful. A little lag there. Guy's being pretty aggressive early on here. I think he's just trying to cover for his boom though. Is the gather rates the same on the cherry orchards as berry bush? That's 90. It's 90. Oh, it is. It is sick. Good to know.
How many do we have on? Okay, we're 8 out of 8 for that. Get a little bit of a forward base going. I think map control is going to be key at the moment. Okay, he's just gone fort. Oh, fortress age, sorry. Um, we're gonna need to get some cavalry out because he's 100% getting gatlings. And we need to start to look for our own age up here. Send in the coin. Alright, good stuff here. I'm liking the look of our eco at the moment. It's flowing nicely. Dude, this is tense.
なんだ食料だ食料だ,、ね、なんだか食料だね食料だねなんだなんだかいようかな承知したこちらへ行こう、うん、Alright Going for the age up here right now. I think we'll go with the experience on the age up. We'll save that for the age up. Okay. It's been a good game. It's been like intense as, dude. I want to move these guys up here because I would like to get a castle. Okay, just going industrial age. Get some sending that shipment. Some walls up just to protect our main eco here. I hate how they make the walls like that. It's so annoying. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, we want to sneak into the back of his base here and spam out a lot of these. No, dude, come on. Ah. Good. 
This guy's all over us. GG's. First game done. I think I just kind of messed up with army management. He just had way too many uh, artillery units. I just needed to get more cavalry to counter that. Oh well though. I think it's still a decent game overall. Definitely have a lot to improve on. Well, we could use my wonders a bit better as well. But anyways, let's get on to the second game. Let's get it. All right, so for this game, we got a little bit of a change up to our deck here. Just change it up. I didn't really like the deck from last game. Didn't really have the things that I wanted. And wait, dude, we're playing on Mongol here again, baby. <laughs> let's go, dude. That's actually so hype. Certainly learnt a lot from the last game, so we're gonna bring that into this game, try to implement some of the things, take some stuff away from last game, and improve on it. That's what we're all about. I think we definitely need to go mental on the yak game. We need all that yak. That's definitely where the other guy got on top in the beginning, especially, is he was just stacking with the act. Claim this yak, dude, for the boys. For the boys. <laughs> yes. Oh no, dude! I've been so. Oh my gosh, I'm concentrating so heavily on getting the yak. I just completely missed a vilky. It's alright. We move on. We move on. Our boom is going to be unreal. Thing about getting all these yak is it's preventing our opponent from getting it and it'll leave us with a really nice boom out the back here with tons of shrine I feel like the yak are more heavily concentrated on this right side of the map I don't know if it's just me uh, but that does feel like what it, it that that's what it feels like at least 
Um, but it does also, like, all these hunts and stuff are all over his side. Uh, which I noticed last game, we had all the hunts on our side. In that middle, I think we kind of scared them away, though. It's unreal how hard it is to actually play the game and talk at the same time. Holy crud, my guy. We'll just go with that shipment. Get it in there. This one. Oh, increased siege. Cavalry siege. Oh, that could be really good, actually. I really like the sound of that one. Bill Q's a bit rough today, man. I'm expecting probably a fast forward from this guy. Have to see. Okay, so he's trying to get all those up right there. running here. I think one thing we're going to do as well in this game is we're going to focus a little bit more on Musketeer rather than Yumi. I felt like I was kind of let down by the Yumi last game, but it was just because the different units I was facing against US. But Test some out a little bit different this game. I'm a lot more confident in our deck as well, so feeling good. <laughs> Probably dropped the ranks a little bit after last game as well. Another cheeky little thing up there. Waiting for that first bank. Alright, so we could just go for the charge because I'll send my next shipment in. The export. I'd like to start sieging down his uh, TPs. Getting some XP rolling in. Also, want to start getting some more shrines out. So that's where the gains are at, my friend. Get one last batch out of units, then we'll go start sieging. Oh, 
ようかそちらへ、うん、Looks like he's cleaned up pretty much all the treasures actually Or reduces cavalry training time I'll、we'll、actually go for that That would be quite nice to have Sneaky peeky at what he's doing. Oh crap, we need to send in this bank. Okay, oh, he's really going for a turtle y kind of look there. I'd like to do some raiding, really. I think we just need to put the pressure on our opponent this game. Something we probably missed out on last game. Is actually looking really solid at the moment. I think this shrine boom is helping a lot more. Army's actually looking really nice. Where is he gathering from? Surely he's not gathering from his very bushes. Oh, he actually is. Actually, back on his resources here.
Oh, like no military. What is he doing? It's a cheeky little turtle, but <laughs> he just deleted his whole base. Oh my god. Okay, that was a lot better game too. I mean, our opponent wasn't much, but I felt like we did our part in that game a lot better. So going into game three now. Let's get it, baby. I'm I'm pumped. Alright, here we go. Oh, dude. It's a rematch. Okay. We know what we're doing this time. We're doing it better. We just need to put the pressure on early. We got this, my guy. We got this. Alright, we want to collect a lot more of these treasures this time around. This guy versed a couple times before in ranked. Obviously, not playing as Japan because it's probably the, like this series or these few games I've played. Probably the first games I've played in ranked with Japan, and the first time I've played Japan in a good while. It's been a solid minute. Oh crap, this tool. <laughs> Get out of there, fella. Here's the one. You know, one really refreshing thing about Japan is you don't have to worry about hurting. They're a very enjoyable sieve once you kind of get the hang of them. Which I feel like I'm, I'm starting to get a bit more confident with Japan. Oh, Divine Strike, love to see it. Okay, we need to get another shrine down. Why is there just... I oh, don't know, there's more. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. We move. Go with the four bills this time. Man, this map's actually really good. There's so many treasures. Oh, 
Batista. Tons of hurts here that we're gonna get moving with. Look to put the pressure back a little bit here. Looking good, looking good. Hmm. 
Okay, I feel like we need to. We gotta keep the pressure up again here. We can't let him. I feel like if this guy. If we let him get away and his eco get away, it's really gonna be hard to. I feel like my best chance is beating him early on. The early game. He's just going fortress. We're gonna. We're going now. We're going now. We can look to go fortress ourselves. Dude, where is this guy gathering from? Oh, we just got Gatling guns. We'll move. Nice little mass of them dudes, but we really need to get some other guys out, some um cavalry and stuff. Alright, looks like he's pushing up here. No, my God, dude. Stop being so stupid. Oh, 
Sweet dude. I think we need some samurai, that would be nice. It's really annoying we got our sh big shrine down, but it's what it is. We survive, we survive. Oh crap. <laughs> oh no. Honestly, big respect to this guy. He's, he's freaking good at uh, the US. Brother knows what he's doing. What's that? Is that increase your unit? Yeah, we need that. We need that line of sight, baby. This guy is making me multitask like heck, dude. Need some Colvins. 
Oh, actually, wait, we're not even going to be able to get Okay. Go with this. I did. <laughs> Yeah. 
This is just stress, my guy. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, bro. You gotta chill with that. Oh, dude, that's actually like. That's annoying, bro. I'm. Bro. Man, what the hell? Yeah, dude, we got no chance, homie. The US is just too strong. Like, look at just this cavalry. It's relentless. It's so gosh dang annoying, dude. Oh, well, I feel like personally, if we weren't bursting this guy, I was improving a lot. This guy's just something different, though. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Comment down below which Civ I should do next, and I will go ahead and do it. Uh, I definitely would like to make this into a series. This wasn't the best, in my opinion. I feel like I definitely, I mean, it's a lot to, uh, to do with the guy I was versing, but I feel like there's definitely lots of room to improve with Japan. So maybe I'll even do a part two with Japan, because I feel like I have a lot more to prove.